Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 13, verses 44 through to the end of the chapter, verse 52. We're talking about Paul and Barnabas, the apostles to the Gentiles. Verse 44, the next Sabbath, almost the whole city was gathered together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with jealousy and contradicted the things which were spoken by Paul and blasphemed. Obviously, this is talking about the Sabbath as the Jews know it. This is the seventh day. This is Saturday. Okay, they didn't meet on Sunday. They met on Saturday as the Sabbath because Saturday is the Sabbath. And so now the Jews were getting quite perturbed, okay? We got Paul and Barnabas, and now they're turning to the Gentiles, and now they're preaching to the Gentiles. What's up with this? Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that God's word should be spoken to you first, since indeed you thrust it from yourselves and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Ooh, that is harsh, okay? That is a very condemning word. Behold, we turn to the Gentiles, for so the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set you as a light for the Gentiles, that you should bring salvation to the uttermost parts of the earth. That is found in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6. As the Gentiles heard this, they were glad, of course, and glorified the word of God. As many as were appointed to eternal life believed. Notice it says here, as many as were appointed to eternal life believed. So we got those whom God foreplanned, appointed to have eternal life. Those ones believed. The ones that God didn't appoint did not believe. That's clear here. That's clear. Verse 49, the Lord's word was spread abroad throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and prominent women and the chief men of the city and stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and threw them out of their borders. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. I mean, Paul and Barnabas weren't very nice, were they? I mean, listen, can you imagine? They shook off the dust off their feet in protest against these people. Like that has got to be like the ultimate insult. It's like your dust is not even worthy to be on my feet. What an insult. Paul and Barnabas here, they they didn't play the nice guy. And as always, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.